There are two parts of the pleura, the parietal pleura. This part of the pleura lines the diaphragm and chest wall. Most pleural plaques develop here, the visceral pleura. The visceral pleura lines the inside of the lungs, though rare. Pleural plaques can also develop in this part of the pleura. These fibers slowly irritate healthy lung tissue depending on where they settle in the pleura. Over time, the body's immune response to these fibers causes pleural thickening, the hardening of collagen, and the formation of scar tissue. Pleural plaques rarely cause symptoms. But in some cases, chest pain when breathing or a persistent cough may be reported. These symptoms are generally mild. Are pleural plaques harmful? No, unlike some other asbestos-related diseases, pleural plaques are generally not harmful. Most doctors suggest that patients with pleural plaques do not need any form of medical intervention. However, because pleural plaques often develop due to past asbestos exposure, they may mean victims have an increased risk of related conditions, including asbestos-related lung diseases or malignant mesothelioma.